Welcome to another Friday episode of the Mobile School Podcast. Remember, don't like, don't subscribe, don't share, nobody cares, man. So, Transnet, which is South Africa's railway system observer and runner, and they make sure that trains move in South Africa. They make sure that product gets where it's supposed to be, was, uh, was hacked. So, they couldn't move a lot of product, which causes a lot of problems for businesses. So if you order some stuff that's supposed to land in Devon on Tuesday, and then you're supposed to get them on Thursday, and then you get them like two weeks later because there was a hack that messes up your business, and then you might have to fire people. Like when people talk about hacking, they just act like it's a bunch of people who are just trying to get money. These are people who are just trying to destroy businesses as well so we did speak about this when we said we should have white hackers where we if you have a business if you have a website if you have some bit of money try to get white hackers to check your system like how does transnet one of the biggest transporters on the continent of goods and services mostly goods is hacked you would think every day there's people who look out for those type of attacks but they didn't and that's really sad like to have those type of things happening especially to government uh state-owned uh, entities like it's really bad in south africa when it comes to state-owned entities and we know who's responsible for it it's the anc the anc with its corruption with its cater deployment with its oh my god like employing cousins nepotism like the whole thing it's really gonna fall on our on our heads and we know who to blame and i keep saying it it starts at the bottom with your mayors they don't need to buy like three cars where's that money coming from if you're getting paid thirty thousand as a mayor you cannot afford three cars so there's a lot of things that are happening behind the scenes that we know of and we don't talk so it's also our fault if you don't talk about corruption in our neighborhoods so i wanted to talk about that hack i want to talk about in closing it's not going to be a long one today i want to talk about messaging and i've said this about twitter i've said this about instagram and all the other social media platforms if there's a common understanding that hey vaccines are good you lose all your privileges to say are they when it comes to social media they don't care I just saw an interview with the CEO of Instagram and he was like, we have to draw the line. And I was looking at him like, who the fuck does this guy think? Like, yeah, it's your platform. But if you're asking us to come in, you need to understand that we also come in with our ideas. We come in with how we speak. We come in with our history. And we're going to try to make sure that people know who we are. The problem with this mindset of like, we have to draw the line based on a decision made by a bunch of white kids in Silicon Valley, it's really mind-boggling for me. And that's something we should look into. And if you're on Twitter, don't think because you have a blue check or you have a lot of followers, you can say what you want. No, 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 no. No, they will cancel, they will silence you. There's shadow banning. We are really living on dangerous times. And I keep telling you, it's said that this podcast is about becoming, it's starting to become about the dangers of social media acquiring more power i don't want this to be about that i want it to be about education talking about education we are almost ready to launch our women in tech where we're going to teach women how to fix cell phones start that as a business we're thinking of having it as under one one website but then we're like ah would it be better if they own their own businesses or we can create a platform where you can reach them on our platform and they can have their private website Check out for that woman in tech. I know, I know another man telling women what to do. Somebody has to do it, guys. Oh, also, big up to Moby Sir. Look into my proposal. I think you guys will appreciate the proposal I sent you about women in tech and the other idea of just traveling around the country with garage sale concept where we buy products from... Actually, we don't even buy products. We ask people in the community to give us or sell to us things that they're not using like appliances like your old stove your microwave of course you have to look at the quality your old computer and then we teach people in the same community how to fix those things and then we resell them to people who don't have money to go buy like first hand and second hand 
that's a great idea and if it's sponsored by Movicel and it comes in with like also their TVs, it also promotes uh, our eSport where we can play like games and show people like there's also another area where you can make money through Twitch and that's a lot of uh, money that's being wasted on talented black people. When it comes to the Olympics, if you don't have talented black people with resources, you will never go far. And we're seeing it at the Olympics. We're struggling, man. I don't know. We can blame the government, which I do. There should be swimming pools everywhere. There should be people teaching our people how to swim. Also, we need to start paying. If the government builds a swimming pool, it's our duty now to take responsibility and say, hey, how much would it cost monthly to hire two people to train kids after they come back from school and hire security guards and hire two more other people? And if it comes to like, because I don't have to work the whole day, if it comes to like 25,000 for all those people, that's something as a community we need to chip into. We might be sitting with a great swimmer out there, but because our ego of expecting the government to do everything is going to mess with us. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Okay. In closing, I just want to say big up and then schools are going to reopen. The whole school thing has become a mess. Like, actually, the pandemic has proven to us that high school needs to change. The fact that you guys can skip school in so many classes and recover so quickly doesn't mean you're good. It just shows that you guys are putting so much nonsense in your curriculum to keep these kids at school from 8 to 2 when they should be there for 2 hours and do other stuff like art job get into sculpturing learn how to fix anything like plumbing there's a lot of things these kids can do but you guys want them to sit in class if you want to explain the same thing to them over and over so they can just take a test so they can qualify to go to university and study psychology and do more courses Whew. okay oh, well.